Hey, how's it going? Another early morning here on the Fjordor Community Cluster server. We're gonna be doing a little bit of work trying to get ready for our Shadow Main team. So in the last video, we got a couple of the sheep. That way we can do some breeding. The sheep are kind of part of the Shadow Main team. It's a different way to do it. Something that I found online, so we're gonna try that. But we need to head over to the swamp. We need a ton of polymer because we need to get some gilly made. Got some good blueprints, but they are super expensive. Double check on our bug spray, make sure that's good to go. And then we need to get some fish. So the thing with the fish is, it they kind of spoil very, very fast in the baskets. And we need quite a few, because on the server we got some boosted rates, but it's still going to take, I think, around 12 or 14 fish. Someone on the server here told me about a different way to do it. So we will do that today. Need to head down into the Aberration Cave, grab some fungal wood. It's kind of part of the uh, part of the thing for today. So let's get started. But before we go out, let me show you what I've been working on here at base. I did a run down to the Dragon Trench and got two eggs. The weird thing is, and again, it might be a server thing, I got two eggs. One was in one nest. The next one was the nest down kind of like below it, a little bit further in the trench. One's male, one's female, but they're both the exact same. So we got a 198 female, a 198 male. The color fields are the same and all the stats are the same. I don't know, man. To me, that is super weird, but we will be using them for breeding. So I kind of saw the color fields whenever I had them in the egg incubator. And wasn't happy at all, but let me show you how they turned out, man, when you actually look at them. Ah, uh, dude, that is fantastic, man. So it's got like a dark body on it, and kind of like an orange, almost peach color on the wings. Not too bad, man, huh, buddy? Yeah, you are expensive to raise up on a server. I tell you what, the amount of milk that I need, holy crap, dude. But let's go ahead and throw these guys out. I do not let them stay out whenever I'm not on the server. I just, I don't know, man, I don't trust leaving these out and them not dying. Not worried about anybody doing anything. I'm worried about them just starving to death and stuff like that. And the milk isn't too hard to come by. One of our server members has a trap set up. So you should be good today on, on food. But has a trap set up. So we've been able to get milk fairly easy. Kind of. Somewhat. Let's go ahead and throw the rest of the stuff out real quick. I am raising up some feather raptors so that I can get eggs a little bit easier. And these guys are almost done. I don't want the pig. I want the rest of the feather raptors. We've got the nest that we usually do the egg runs on, kind of over by the castle and stuff, but sometimes it's kind of a pain to get them, and then if everybody's doing it, it kind of gets it, you know, kind of gets a little crowded over there. So, figured to go ahead and get these guys. And I got some pterodons. They're kind of neat looking, man. I've been working on these for raising up. Let me show you the color fields on them. Saw one, it was right over here. It's got like blue on the head, and this one has white, kind of in the little specks there. The original parent had orange in there, so I don't know if I want to keep this one or the the other one. I don't know. They're kind of cool, though, man. They got blue down the back, blue on their hands, brown. I, don't know, I like it, man. I like it. I like the pterodons. They're very good for just running around on and stuff. Then let's throw out the rest of the sheep. Get everybody over here. Raising up. They're so tiny, man. Oh, I had that one already. And that should be good. Everybody's raising up. The rest of these can go into the soul terminal. And these are... Wait, one is the one that I'm using. That's the parent. So field three is the one that has kind of like... It looks it looks peach there, but it's like an orange. Here, I'll just show you. See, it's got the orange up there. I really like that. So I want to see how the white looks on this one. It got that from the mother, I think. I don't know. I'm keeping this one. Might still do some breeding just to get that color over, but we got one of the other color fields, I think on the back or something, isn't blue on this one like it is on these. So I don't know, man. It's <laughs> it's like a little side project, huh? Yeah, don't look at me like that, man. All right, let's pick you back up. This is the bird that we are taking with us. We go over here so I don't get you mixed up. And then the thylus. So we need to just grab a chainsaw and some gas. Head over to the swamp. I need the Argentavis as well for weight reasons. So let's take you. Let's do all of these back into there. The pig we can leave in there. And these guys have to do mating on as soon as we can. And that should be everything that we need. Chainsaw is repaired. Surprised. And usually five gas is enough to uh, break the chainsaw. I really need to find a better blueprint, man. I have not found anything. Let's go ahead and actually repair it all the way, too. Oh, that 89 is a gas. My bad, my bad. So yeah, I need to find a better one because this one breaks super fast. 
And it's not exactly safe over in the swamp, but I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Do we have any bug spray? Speaking of that, we got 14. I keep looting these. I don't know what from. Oh, yeah. Check the feed trough, too, before we head out. See, I'm talking about stuff dying. Look at that, man. No berries whatsoever in there. That would have been horrible. All the sheep would have died. Would have just been another tragedy. It happens a lot here, man. I'm not used to, uh, still not used to, uh, <laughs> keeping the feed trough full. Alright, turn that off. Are we good now? Can we actually go? Let's grab some water. And we will head out on the Argentavis. So the first stop will be to grab the Polymer. So the Polymer is kind of a two-part deal. I'm sure you guys already know. You can go over here to the swamp. You can chop up the little creatures that are dead by the water, kind of like around the outside. Get a ton of Polymer, and you get... Spoiled meat, which you need for, like, the narcotics and stuff for making trank darts. So it's kind of a 50-50 thing. It's not too bad. And then we'll go back, grab the Ravager, and then head down way over there by the blue obelisk. We'll go down into the Aberration Cave, take the chainsaw again, grab a bunch of fungal wood, because I tell you what, man, those fish baskets, they are not cheap, dude. Holy crap, man. The fungal wood for those, I think it's like 115 for each one. And seeing as how we need to make, I think it's around 15 of the baskets. I've got some fish already. But we still need to get a couple more. And the saber tooth that are down there, that's what we're going for is the saber tooth salmon. They're kind of in the other aberration cave. So it's kind of neat, man. It's kind of neat. Everything's all in one place. Hopefully we don't have any problems with the capros. I tell you what, you come over here, it's almost guaranteed you're going to be hit by a capro or a spino, one or the other. See if we can find some of these guys. Here's some here. And let's do this. Make life easier. Yeah, if you got a higher percent on a chainsaw for just the durability and the damage, oh, dude, it would be so nice. I don't know. Even on my other playthrough series, I never got chainsaws too much. They're kind of one of those rare blueprints. But see, from that one, we got 341 on spoiled meat and then 100 on the polymer. So it's not too bad, man. We need a ton more. <laughs> That's the problem. I might have to actually do two runs throughout the day here because the blueprints I got, some are ascendant. And the amount of polymer you need. They're high durability, too, so definitely goes through the polymer making them. But we need those for the Shadow Main team. Oh, dude, I am excited and nervous at the same time. I've been trying to filter through and kill off the low-level ones over in Asgard. I haven't seen any over a 114. That kind of worries me. I want to try to get at least above 150 because the max on the server is 180. So getting below 150 is just kind of not an option, right? There's one, another one right in front of us. It usually doubles over that way. If we could just not be cap road, I would be so happy. Yup, yup, I hear you back there. There we go. <laughs> I heard it coming, man. I was hoping to actually get these guys chopped up. I think they're almost the last ones that we have over here. We might have enough. We've got some back at base, too. We'll try to make some of the blueprints whenever we get back over there. But like I said, man, it is super expensive. I've got a ton of the hide. I got a Thyla from one of our server members. And oh, dude, I don't think I've showed you the Thyla yet. Hello? There we go. It's blue, man. Oh, how could you say no to that? But the colors on that guy, man, it was a mutation. I think he got one that was green and then one that was blue. One was for, I think, stamina. One was for damage or something like that. Or speed and stamina, something like that. But, ah, uh, dude, it looks fantastic, man. So, yeah, I've been using him a lot, and... Yep, I see you, I see you. Capro. I've been using that guy to get hide and stuff. It kind of, uh, kind of makes life easy. Two, four, six, eight. We've almost got a thousand. I don't know how much we need. I've got a little bit back of base. Let's chop up this last one here. And I want to get out of the area just because... Oh, dude, that, uh... Hey, Capro, man, I don't know why he's running. I'm totally fine with it, though, as long as he's running away from us and not towards us. That's kind of the uh, the key thing here. And this will be the first time I've been through here and not got Capro. <laughs> Shouldn't say nothing now, though. Should wait till we're on the bird out of here before I actually say that. Oh, there's two of them. Buddy, move closer, man. I'm gonna be overweight. Yep, yep, yep. There's always something going on, man. Okay, well, that broke. That's... Looks fantastic. Terrifying. 168. Oh, dude. Did it come back and tame you? I still haven't got a paleo one, man. So, yeah, see, that's the problem I'm having with the chainsaws. I know I could probably bring two, 
We had that one left over there, and then... I don't know if there's going to be any over here. It seems like they always spawn in different places, but it always seems like the same amount always spawn. Yeah, see, there's no more around here. Another Sarko, though. All right, let's head back over. See what we got for the polymer and the ghillie. We might be all right. Be nice if we could actually make it all up. Oh, there's one right there. Tell you what. I don't have the chainsaw. And I don't get much from the bird, but it's better than just leaving them, right? You get so much less with the spoiled meat. I'm not sure about the polymer. Polymer might be the same it kind of looked like. There's one more over here. And then we'll go ahead and go grab our fungal wood and do the fish baskets. I kind of want to keep an eye out for one of the centipedes. There was a, in the other aberration cave, the one that's on that side of the map, there was a centipede, man, that I wanted to tame. Ah, oh, dude, it was an aberrant one. It was all black and had a blue stripe down it. I think it's part of the event colors for the Christmas event. So, we we'll have to keep an eye out whenever we're down getting our fungal wood, if we can find another one, because I definitely want one. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but be nice to have, nonetheless. All right, let's put you right there for the moment. Let's grab... This, and these. And then we can use this, where's it at? Put you in the refrigerator, and that should be good. And that should be good, let it cook up. I'll tell you what, the amount of meat we're going through with all this breeding and stuff. And, and they're only small tames, right? I'm only doing feather raptors and pterodons, and holy crap, the amount of meat they go through? What else have we got? A little bit of hide. Leave the gas, we'll leave the hide. We will leave the broken chainsaw. I will repair it later. And let's check out some of these blueprints I got. Not there. So I do have a full set. Why do I have two pairs of these? 341 durability. 327. Might have just been two. Grab all of you. Let's start off with the pants. It is the key component here. One of you. Really hope I got enough, man. If not, I'll just wait for a little bit and then go back over there to the swamp. Grab some more polymer. All right, so that's done. That's done. Let's do the arms next. They're going to be super cheap. And I think the durability on all these, except for those, are pretty high. They're all above 200. Well, almost. What else do we need? This and the boots. So we should be good. Oh, please tell me I got enough. We do. Fantastic. We'll just start putting all this stuff over here. What is in here? A bunch of junk. It's fine. It's fine. I usually bring everything in when I'm doing a run, and I'll just drop it all there, and then sort it all out kind of at a different point in time. Let's grab our bird. I don't think we need him. Well, no, we don't. We don't. We're going to be using the teleport system to get back to base over here. Let's drop you off. Not into there. Then we need the Ravager. That should be good. We're going to keep the Thyla on us just for... <laughs> just for reasons. And let's go ahead. I totally forgot we need... We do need this to take down with us. Why was that turned off? Let's take five more of the gas. So the problem is, whenever you have fungal wood, and you put it into your storage cabinet, anything you build with wood, it takes that from you, right? That's the first thing that it uses, is fungal wood, for some odd reason. So, if you take your storage, you rename it, long as you put that, that in there, it actually won't use a pull feature from that cabinet. So whenever we get our new amount of fungal wood, we'll put everything into there. That way it doesn't get used, and I will have some because I've done quite a few runs. It's just, uh, <laughs> yeah, man, it keeps getting used whenever I don't want it to. So I think we're good, right? We got the chainsaw, we've got the ravager. Let's see if I can remember which way to teleport to. I think it's going to be this one. Southwest. I think that's the one that should take us kind of over that way. And then whenever we get all of our stuff, we can just teleport out of the cave back up here. Oh, it's so nice, man. Well, over there. It's it's super close to base. All right, moment of truth. How far away are we? Oh, we're not too bad. Not too far at all. I thought we would be further south. 
It's alright, the Pterodon is definitely fast. So let's get over here. We are going down into the cave entrance over here. And I kind of want to scout out some bats. I'm, I'm wanting to get a bat teamed here soon. So you can't use any flyers, as you know, over in the portals. And I do a lot of stuff in Asgard. And it's just, uh, <laughs> it makes life a lot easier hunting the shinies and stuff if I had a bat. So I kind of got everything almost ready. I think what I want to do is use the Midnight Shadow Man that I have, the shiny one. And use it, or the Midnight Sabertooth. Use him and try to put some blood packs in there and do it that way. I've got almost enough blood packs, I think. All depends. And hopefully get one tamed up. Doesn't really the matter the level. I'm not really wanting a a max level one for breeding, but anything over 150 should be good enough. So we'll uh, we'll see what we get five, man. So the bats, yeah, there's one right there. I was gonna say the bats are usually in the ceiling right here. See, that's a 108. They usually hang out right up in this area. There's only the one. So there is polymer in here. You can pick by hand. It's got the little polymer plants. I think it's over there, kind of in that area. Get our light out. And I don't know if there's the fungal wood. However, I do not want to mess with it down there because <laughs> it's not very much. There's a, I mean, it's a cool area, but there's a lot of the aberrant raptors down there, kind of pouncing and everything. And there's not in the cave back here where we're going to. So it's a little bit safer. We just have to deal with these scorpions and all the snakes. Try not to fall off this time. Holy crap, dude. I've been back here a couple times. I usually bring the thyla because there's a gap up here. And the thyla will scale right over it, just running normally. The, uh, <laughs> the ravager, not so much. And then being on the server with the little bit of lag sometimes, it kind of, uh, kind of makes jumping hard, man. I have a hard time on single player jumping. There we go. Hopefully there's nothing waiting for us like there was the last time. Got ambushed, man. There's a lot of the plants, or the trees, like right here. And with the Ravager, I got like, I think it's like 2,600 on his weight. So we definitely, definitely could take a bunch of stuff with us. Keep the mushrooms too. I forget who it is. Oh, the guy that lives above me on the waterfall. Uses uh, the mushrooms for his kangaroos and stuff. Got some cool ones. Not too bad. Is it? All right. Did I get you? Oh, keep your feet out of the way, man. Holy crap, dude. I need to put the uh, put the torch on his back so I can actually see. But yeah, the guy above me's got the kangaroos and stuff. Use the rare mushrooms, I think, for taming them. And since I've always played single player, I've never... Never been able to ride in the pouch on one. Tell you what, that is crazy, man. I mean, I think jump around with you in it. It's kind of neat. Good mode of transportation. There's a bunch of gas veins in here. I need to go ahead and... Oh, somebody's got one put on it already. I was say there was one right here by the entrance. And that way, since the server runs 24-7, it'd be an easy way to... Oh, yeah, I need to use a shotgun. You don't have very good damage. It'd be an easy way to get the soul balls, or the uh, gas balls. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, dude. Reload, man. We're always reloading. 174. Go ahead and take all this stuff. I can use the chitin back at base. Ah, that's Captain. He's got his setup over here. Let's grab a couple more. There's three here. How are we doing on wood? We've got 2,000. We'll grab a little bit more. Like I said, we've got tons of weight here. We'll be closer, man. I'm going to be overweight so bad. There's Seekers in here. <sighs> yup. There's Seekers in here, too. Junior, you need to be on passive, man. And stay near me. Chainsaw again. Now keep your snout out of the way. I'll get you with a chainsaw again, and you'll holler. Tell you what, you can't take this guy anywhere, man. Yep. Well, I tell you what, man. All right, tell you what. We got enough. We got enough for what we want to do today. I'll come down in here later. 174. Like I said, man, there's a lot of 174s. The prize we haven't seen. Yeah, the centipedes. I was wanting to try to find one if possible. Just for scouting. For taming later. There's a snail. Oh, I should have brought some veggie cakes. I need to take some with us. I don't think there's any snails in the aberration cave up top. Ah, uh, dude, I want to get some of those guys. Easy for making the cement paste, right? Oh, there's another gas vein. Whose are you? 
Same person. Okay. He's got a couple of them out. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, okay. Let's get out of here, man. We got what we need. I don't want any problems today. We're getting low on ammo. Ah, the reload, dude! Some aberrant dung beetles, too. I want to change my dung beetle out for an aberrant one. No reason why. I just like the aberrant flavors. Let's get over here out of the way. We'll teleport. We don't need anything by us. Or else it'll cancel the teleport. Alright, let's do this quick. And this one will take us right by base. Oh, this is so nice being lucked out with the teleporter right by base. Very nice, very nice. Let's, uh... Remove the torch. Give it back to me, please, and thank you. So, we'll go over here. We'll make some baskets. Probably, I don't know, five or six of them. Take them with us. Go to the Aberration Cave. Get our fish. And that will sort us out for the stuff we need for the Shadow Main Team. Two-thirds of everything is done today. I like it, man. I like it. We'll just leave him here for the moment. Take five of those. And how is our soul traps? 19. Let's grab a couple more of those, too, whenever we're done crafting this. And take those with us. Uh, so went ahead and made up five more. So we got ten on the baskets. And I've got some more of the soul traps. We'll need those as well. Check on these guys. I'm sure they're fine. I'm like a nervous parent, man. I know they have a ton of food, but... The last thing I want to see is one of them dying because they starved to death. I got, I got milk. The milk lasts... Like three days in here. So it's not too bad. Three days if it's a full... Timer on it, as long as you got the salts in here. So it's it's a good bit of time. So got quite a bit on the polymer too. So we're leaving him here. We will be taking the bird and the thyla for this next part of it. And we can leave the chainsaw too. Tell you what, just leave it all in him. Oh, you know what? While we're going that way, what you got for batteries? Let's activate you. Let you pick up everything around. We'll grab all these batteries, charge them up while we're in there. And that's it. I mean, it works, man. It works. It picks all this stuff up without me running out. I just don't leave it on 24-7 anymore. There's no point in it. We are going to south and southeast. This one drops you right in front of the Aberration Cave. It's kind of nice, man. It's the uh, the main one that I use besides coming back to base here. What is that over there? Is that a Tech Rex or is that a Gotcha? Another Gotcha, man. I need another Tech Rex for breeding. We're good. We're all right. Let's just go over there on the Thyla. Got pretty good bit of levels into him. I usually use him for running around. I mean, it's a Thyla, man. It's, uh, it's not too bad. What is this? He just has a... Okay. Safe spot for the... We got a Sinnoh in there, too. <gasps> oh, don't jump in. Interesting. Shinehorn? Is that a Shinehorn down there? Like a glow pet, a bat, and a Sinnoh. Okay, okay, okay. Not sure why you would leave those there, but whatever is what it is. It's kind of weird, man. Seeing people's stuff is kind of scattered all over the place. Don't tell them what you're going to come up on. So we will bypass the Ravagers if possible. There's two loot drops in here we'll grab. We will drop all of our stuff. Well, I was going to drop it at the front here. Maybe we'll drop it at the back. There's one of the charge nodes back by where we're going fishing. Might just do it there. Let's give you a torch. That way everybody can see a little bit easier. I don't like turning the gamma up too much. It uh, it makes it look really washed out in here. So hopefully there's no Perlovia in here. I've been lucky the past couple of times and haven't had problems with Perlovia. But there have been some high level drakes. Oh, there's one up there. Speaking of them. <laughs> 222. Like I said, man, some high level drakes in here. Yup, 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 yup. It's fine, it's fine, but we do 305 on our damage for the Thyla now, and I got a 100 armor saddle. Got it out of a drop, I think it was in here. Not too long ago, like a couple, couple of days ago. It definitely helps out keeping him alive. Because he's a little bit squishy, he's only got 15,000 on the health. What's going on here? Let's hit a button. That's fine on me, look at the sails on him. That's a normal one, I think, right? Dude, please just die, man. It's gonna happen eventually. Let it happen. You're kind of, uh, keeping me from what I want to get done today. Nice looking sail, though. 
Yep. 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 Aberrant one. That's what it was. All right, buddy. Look. Look. You're about as annoying as the Rock Drake was. It's the light, man. I know. The light. What we got? Don't use it. Interesting. I do have an Allosaur. Oh, dude. I'll make that into a blueprint. I got my dwarf one that I got back at base. We good. Where's the crab at, man? Every time you come down here, there's a crab. Never fails. I do want to tame one. So there's a couple different flavors of blue. You got the the light blue like this, and then you've got a darker blue. I want to get the darker blue one. Can we get out of the water so you don't kill off the fish, please? I want to be trapping those guys. Come over here, man. Come over here. Let's play out of the water. It's a little bit safer for me. A little bit safer for the fish. Please do not rip me off the Tyler. What you get? There's a polymer there, too. Should have cut the chainsaw. I didn't think about it. Put these in here. Nice, man. Nice. All right. So, over here is a ton of the X version of the Sabertooth. They're kind of neat. Super shallow. Super easy for putting the baskets. So, what we're going to do. Put you there. You there. You there. You here. And those should be fine. We'll try to hurt them all over. So we're going for anything on 1.0 and above. I am not going for anything less than that. So there's a 1.0. I hate how they run from you. Sometimes you can kind of hurt them over towards your traps. Sometimes you can't. We got a 1.0 right here. If it hurries up. Yep, out of water. There we go. There's another one. Dude, that waterfall is so loud. That's two low level ones. That's a 1.0. Let's try to... We'll do this. Sometimes when we put a basket down, they'll kind of run away. We'll get them to run over that way, if anything. Oh, there's a 1.1. Oh, Junior! We'll, ah, we'll pick this one up. Are you close enough? Wait, oh, that was a 0. .6. I don't want the 0. .6. Get a couple more. Let's get the big boy, man. It'll help out with the taming on the Shadow Man, for sure. The higher level, the better. I haven't seen much over 1.2 in this little pondo. It's the only thing... Try to get them to herd back over that way. Wait, there's a basket right here. Gotcha. Nice. All right, pick you up. Pick you up. Do not shoot them when you're in the water. I'm just saying they will run around, destroy all of your traps. What are you? Point nine. Do we have any more? Point six. Point nine. Point eight. I think they're all low level. Point nine. We got over here. We got a dead one from the crab. <gasps> a 1.3. Junior, stay around here, man. Don't go running. I did not realize it was so deep over here. Quite a few. Quite a few. Okay. 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 The levels don't matter. It's just the uh, the multiplier that matters, right? There's a bunch of them over there, and none are none are close enough. That's the thing. The uh, high-level ones are like, nah, man, we know what's up. We don't want no part of this. If they start going nuts, though, they'll tear up your traps. Ah, I need to move these. This is like the hardest part of the Shadow Main team. He's getting the fish, man. I'm telling you. 1.3, 1.3. Hurry up, man. Hurry up. Initialize. Oh, we got him. Nice, nice. I've never seen so many in this corner over here like this. They're normally all over on the other side, but I mean, that's fine. I should, should have brought more traps, man. We need to get rid of that low-level one, too. All right, do we have another trap? We do. Two more, and we'll be good. Wait, wait. Get close. Get close. What level are you? 1.3? Fantastic colors. Come over here, Junior. Gotcha. Nice, man. Nice. I think we've got one more trap. It's a good day in fishing. All right, either one of you will do. Just stay there. Give it a second. We'll double check and see if we have any more traps out, too. We might have one or two. Should be good. Nice. Yep, we do. We got one more. We'll pick this one up. What level are you? And you? 
1.0. We'll get the 1.2 that's over here. If we can, possibly. Oh, air. It's a thing, man. It's a thing! It's not optional, either. I don't want the 0.7. Okay, well, let's do this. Um... How do you get it to select a different one? Is that a thing? Maybe it just does the one that's closest? Yeah, there we go. It's gotta be the closest one. Hurry up, man! Nice, dude. Nice! Oh, man! Good day fishing. We got that one 0 0.6 we need to get rid of, but the problem is, so you have a short timer, right? 36 minutes. Now, you can refresh these by putting it on your hot bar. You get in water, and it'll refresh your timer. So it's not too bad. However, <laughs> that is not very much time at all when you're trying to get a shadow main. So what you can do, do your fishing ahead of time like this. And then I didn't know, but you can release them into the water, right? And then you can soul trap them. And there you go, man. It's it's just like a normal tame. I didn't know that was a thing. You got to kind of hurry because they are somewhat out of water whenever you stack them. I've noticed I lost a couple the other day doing that. We'll get rid of that point six one. But on this map, the shadow mains are right down by the water. So all you have to do is have some more traps on you, right? Because you need the fish baskets. And then whenever you're ready to do your taming, you can always feed it the fish. While you're waiting, run over here, release the one. It's yours, so it's not going to run. Put down your fish basket, pick it up in a fish basket, and then you have your tame. Ah, dude, it is so much easier than doing it the normal way. Because, like I said, man, those spoil times are no joke. Let's go ahead and grab our stuff over here. We'll head over there. There is that red drop. You should all be good to go. Let's check out this thing. The only thing is, man, the Ravagers over here. Oh, dude, it's usually so many of them. It seems like there's two packs that will spawn. And I had, I think the most I could ever count, it was like 14 of them over here at once. It was, it was a bad day. I was on the Rex. Still had some problems. Yep. Come over here, guys. So we have them drop up. Still trying to find a better long neck blueprint. Somebody left me one for Christmas, which I have been using. I went from a 121 to a 189. Oh, it is so nice, man. That mixed with shocking trank darts definitely helps out. The high level one here, I bet. Yep, 174. Okay, a little bit of a bleed effect. What you got? I have a better one back at base, and then we got a okay Pariser saddle. I have one of those two. I don't know what level. Oh, yeah. Keep forgetting. We can just teleport out of here. Be back to base super, super fast with our fish. Perfect timing. It's nighttime. We got all of our stuff. We're out of the cave. I think we have everything we need now for the Shadow Main team. All we <laughs> all we are missing is the Shadow Main. So, like I said, it's going to be, I don't know, maybe a couple days. I need to find one that's high level and then kind of make sure it doesn't die off. We can get up here. Grab everything out of you. Everything out of you. Put them in there. Got some batteries to keep you going. Turn them on. None around. Turn them back off. <laughs> Give me my pearls, man. It kind of works out. I'll show you the pearls that I got. And I don't activate it every time, I always forget, but the the pearls, I'm up to almost 3,000, so it's not too bad. We got a ton of runes, so I'm kind of working on getting stuff together to do boss fights. We'll probably start off with the B. Now, on single player, it's super simple with the B, but again, we're on servers, so it's going to be a little bit harder. So we'll kind of see how that works out. Let's put our fish in here. Like I said, I have a couple. Oh, I have baskets. I got a couple from the other day when I was doing fishing. So we'll take the highest level ones, and I got plenty here. I'd like to get two if possible for our breeding, just to have a good Shadow Main army. And then we got the blueprint. Let's double check. So we've got 126, 163. Almost the same damage. That's ascendant, though. That's going to be almost 1,500 polymer. 
931. We're going to drop this one. Not worth it. And then for the Parasur. Oh, yeah. We don't have a platform saddle at all. Put you in there, and then the Aloe. We'll drop that one as well. Let's make this other one into a blueprint. And that is set. So we got that. We still got a, a bunch of wood, man. That's plenty of wood. I need to make sure I don't accidentally use that for anything. Ah, dude, well, not too bad of a day. We've got all of our fish we need. We've got our full set of galley. We've got the bug spray. Like I said, all I have to do is find one of these shadow I mean, I need a couple more sheep. So there's, you know, you, you probably already know, but you can take the sheep, feed them to the shadow mains, and the shadow mains will get overweight from all the fur, then you don't have to worry about them running around. So that's kind of the goal with the sheep. It's just, I don't know how many sheep I'm going to need, because shadow mains usually have a high carry weight. I think it's around five or 600 on weight sometimes. And I definitely don't want to feed them a couple, and then it kind of not work out. So I definitely want to take in quite a few. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.